Hey everyone and welcome to today's vlog. In today's episode, we prep the TT to be sold. Okay, so welcome to today's episode where we're gonna prep the TT for sale. We've got a few things to be done to the TT, couple of things on the snagging list. One, the notorious windscreen wiper motor, which has been the bane of my life. If you're a regular follower of this channel, you'll know that my first car, which is a Mark 1 TT, had a broken windscreen wiper motor that I had to replace. And the second one, we thought we got away with it, it was working fine, but now it's gone, so we've got to replace that. And guess what? The Seat Leon also has broken windscreen wipers. I don't know what it is. I'm always seem to attract the cars with broken windscreen wiper motors. Anyway, we're gonna re we've got a replacement motor and we're gonna put that in the car today. Also, the glove box. So on my TT the Mark II, the glove box that came with the car was broken. The door was broken. So when you open it, it just fell off. And that's quite a common problem with the Mark II because the door doesn't open a lot. So people try to jam the door open and inadvertently end up breaking the tabs. So I've had to buy a new one and they're not cheap. Believe me, they're quite expensive. But I managed to get one at a reasonable price and we're gonna fit that in today. And once we get those two items fitted, we just need to get the car washed and then that car is ready to be sold. So I ask you, why are you selling the TT? Well we need to fund the next project and the TT needs to go in order to be able to do that. And I'd rather get rid of the TT now and pull it up for sale and then we get the next car and the next car will be, well, I'm looking for something more sporty, um, something more exciting. So I need the funds available so we can do that. And we still got some work to be done on the Seat, so that's gonna keep us entertained while we prep that car for sale. And I hope that by the time we sell the Seat, or by the time it's ready for sale, the next project will be already in the process of being brought down to my house here. Okay, so without further ado, let's get on and let's crack on and fit these two bits to the car. Okay, so here's our two candidates for today. Here's our replacement motor, which I bought from Hills Breakers. Uh, it's a fraction of the cost it will cost for new. Brand new, these things cost over 300 pound, which is ridiculous. But hey, um, that's the cost of motoring. So hopefully this will go in fine and work. We'll test that before we plug him up. And then over here we have our glove box replacement. So here's the culprits these tabs here that one there and that one there these are the things that break and if I open him up you'll see that he doesn't open up very wide that is it that's as wide as they go and what happens people tend to push them back and then they break the tabs and they break off as you'll see with my old one so I've got the whole unit to replace so we've got to take off the old unit and then replace that so we're gonna get the car out of the garage and then we're gonna crack on and fit these two bits in the car. Okay, so this is where our motor is going to reside. And then well, here's our two fixing points. So we've got one here, and then we have our other one here, and then our central point is right here. So we've got our nuts and bolts here, First thing I'm going to do is a soft fit to make sure that the motor is working. And in order to test this, we have to close the bonnet because on the TT and in most Volkswagen Audi um, cars, there's a sensor in here to detect whether the bonnet is open. If the bonnet is open, it kills the power to the motor. Um, so um, let's go and get the motor, get it fitted, and then we'll give it a test. Okay, moment of truth. Let's get this key in the ignition. Fire her up. And now we're looking to see if the motor moves. You can see the motor there. Let's turn her on. Oh yes, there we go. It's working straight away. Brilliant. That is fantastic. At last, we have a working motor. Right, 
So now we've just got to um, connect it all up properly and then, um, then give it a final test with it in Citrol. So let's go and do that. Okay, so just before we put the windscreen wipers on, I'm gonna put some T1 from G Tech on. This basically makes the trim look like brand new. And while I've got the windscreen wipers off and there's a little bit of dirt inside, I'll be able to clean it up and then the whole thing will look uniform. And like I said, it will make it look brand new and it lasts a really long time. So well worth buying. Okay, so that's now done. Now we go for that live test to see if the wipers work now that the whole thing has been assembled. I think that's a success. At last, working wipers. Right, next job. And I'm gonna turn the car around for this one. That's where we tackle the um, glove box. Okay, so this is the current glove box. And let me show you what happens when I open it. Mm, not very good. So, all we have to do is just remove this interior panel, unplug the whole, all the cables, etc. Take this out, put the new one in. So, um, yeah, let's figure out how we do that. Should be easy, should take a few minutes. Okay, that's that done. So all we have to do now is just disconnect all of these various lights and sensors and then reconnect the new one up and get them in place a few minute job me thinks okay so in this tt i'm just looking at the wiring and there's a few things that are slightly different my tt has got led lights in the glove box etc um, so the wiring is slightly different and it's also got a footwell light which I've this is from the old one I've moved this over this is also an LED so I have taken the old wiring loom out and it is just slightly different so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fit the old wiring loom in place of the old of this one that's in place now and that's gonna give me all the features that my car had originally in the old glove box Okay, so that's the new glove box now, all in place, all wired up. So now I've just got to mount it all up and then that should be it. So I was struggling earlier on doing it up with the um, uh, normal ratchet here, this one here. And then of course I remember what I've got. So don't forget your tools, folks. Remember what you've got. And power ratchet made short work of that. Okay, so here we go. So we finally have a working door that's in place at last. And uh, that's it, simple. Everything's working, so the light inside, the vanity light at the back there, that's working perfectly. And the light, the footwell light underneath is also working as well, which is perfect. We've got the airbag light there, which is on, and we can turn it off with a key, which is great. And that's important feature. So that's working fine. 
So that's it then. This car is now good to go. The only thing needing to be done is a quick clean. And I'm gonna take it to the car wash for that because you know what, it is way too cold for me to be doing it. So I'm gonna let them do it and then I'm gonna polish the car. Okay, so that's it then. Car is now wash, and we've got some great photos for the eBay page, which is now live. So if you want to see the car, nice link below for you to have a look at it. Or if you're interested, give us a call or contact me and we'll, we can talk. So that's it for this week. Next week, we'll be back on to the Seat. That's the other car that we're going to make sure is ready for sale. And that should be good. A few little things that need to be done, some valeting, etc., etc. So, um, if you're seeing this for the first time, great to have you along with us on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe down below, which is great because uh, we're building that momentum now up to a thousand subscribers, our first milestone, which is good to see. Good. So, we look forward to seeing you guys next week. Have a good, great week, and we'll see you next Monday.